So it was a pretty quirky film. What was your most memorable or funniest memory from filming? I mean, it was pretty ridiculous having to say the dialogue that I had to say to Sonny, who plays my son. It's tasty dialogue, maybe tasty is the wrong word to use, given the, the subject that I'm addressing in that speech, but Sonny had earbuds in, so he couldn't hear what I was saying, thank God. That was kind of ridiculous and hard to spit out, and it's so well written, and it kind of treads the line between hilarity and, and absurdity and, and absolute just bleakness as well, you know, because I've talked to some people that found it funny and they feel guilty about laughing. It's just really, I mean, it's heavy shit what I'm saying to him in that scene. Do you know what I mean? Like, really explicit. Did he want to hear it though? Was he like, no, let me oh, hear Oh, totally. Oh, Sonny's a mad little man. He's a mad little man. He's great fun. And he's dead wide, Sonny. He's really, really clever. Really, really clever. He's got serious street smarts. I don't know what age he is now, 12 or 13, but, um, but yeah, it wasn't. I don't know if that kind of, I can, curse like a sailor like the best of them but I don't know if that particular kind of language is appropriate for anyone certainly not for 11 or 12 year old or whatever age it was then. So I've got to ask you about another awkward couple of scenes the bedroom scenes. Yeah. What is it like to film in real life? Ridiculous it's so so not as intimate as, as one may imagine you know because there's a crew there there's a guy with a microphone holding it over your head there's a cameraman who's in your face and it's an exercise in geography really more than anything else and we try and block it down very physically, particularly this one was like everything in yours, his films was so awkward. I mean, it's not like, quote unquote, a love scene. There is no love, there's no tenderness, there's no, none of those things. I mean, there, yes, love, maybe tenderness is being represented in that couple's world, but it's again, not like anything that we recognize as such. And serious as well, you know, because just be aware and sensitive of, you know, and as soon as cut, look away, grab a towel or, or dressing gown that's there and make sure everyone that needs to be covered up is covered up and and move through it as fast as possible. How do you not find it awkward? No, it definitely is awkward. The whole thing can be awkward at times. I mean, more awkward if you have your clothes off, of course. And just try and get through it and, you know, if you have a laugh, you have a laugh, but you move through it and, and everyone wants to get through it and, and honor the moments or the scene. Because each love scene in a film will have a certain will have a certain pace or have a certain tone to it itself. And ideally, if a love scene is in a film, you know, if it's not, if it doesn't have a purpose, it's called gratuitous, rightfully so. And if it has a purpose, it does inform where those characters are at that time, or it does say something about their lives or how they coexist or how they interrelate. So, but you just try and move through it as seamlessly and easily as possible and then call it a day. You've had one particular nude scene where you're sat in a chair. Um, does this mean that you feel like you've got to get into fitness regime before you do the film or that you felt quite like aware of it? Or? You saw what was sat in that chair, didn't you? <laughs> that was not a man who was consumed with the benefits of fitness in a life. No, I didn't get as soft on this one as I got on the lobster. Um, but I got soft enough and no, I, um, you know, it's... And, and it was fine, it was fine just sitting there naked and they shot that pretty quick as well because it's not particularly comfortable you know dudes in the corner and looking at you sitting there naked and uh but it was, it was all right i got a sexual attraction vibe between stephen and martin is that what you were intending to do there was a line initially in it where barry's character martin says to me when i give him the watch can i give you a kiss and i read that and i was like oh because already just yorgos's world the characters interrelate in such an awkward fashion as far as I can feel. And so I was wondering the same thing when I read it at first. And then when I saw the film I didn't feel that, but you wouldn't certainly wouldn't be way off the mark to think that, but it, that wasn't the purpose and that was never something that we reached for. Or, and that's what Yorgos does, he just puts forth a certain set of circumstances and an awkwardness of dialogue or the way he frames things that you just feel that things are, all, everything is just a little bit off, you know? So you'd be forgiven for thinking what you thought.